my boss always micromanages me. What can I do? One of the most unempowering things you can do for somebody is micromanage them. Not only tells them you don't trust them, but it takes away their initiative. So what do you do when you're being micromanaged? Here are some ideas. Number one, you have to assess the situation around you. Micromanagement is often in the eye of the managed and it may be relative. In other words, one person's micromanagement may be seen as just giving direction by somebody else. I guess if you ask your boss, they'd probably say they weren't micromanaging you. So given that, you need to understand if it's the whole team that they get managed that way or whether it's just you. If it's the whole team, of course, then that's something about the management style of the boss. But if it's just you, then there's a different problem. But it could be one of many different problems. It just doesn't have to mean that they don't trust you. And that's the conclusion most people draw. However, there may be other things. Have you performed badly? Did you do something wrong recently? Are they getting feedback from other people and other teams about the way you work? There may even be a really important project that they're right in the middle of, and they're just being paranoid about their own failure. Sometimes they just may even want to make sure you're successful, and they're trying to help you. Okay, so you need to ask why. With many reasons for the behavior, at some point you're just going to have to ask the boss. The trick is to find the right way to do so and not wait for your annual review. Now, one approach is to ask for an interim review of your objectives with your boss. Don't start your monthly meeting with this, but work up to it. With plenty of time left in the meeting, request to discuss your objectives and the review of the progress of them. Don't be too defensive, but walk through what you've achieved and what is still open. Then ask open questions that let your boss say what's on their mind. For example, what else could I be doing? How else might I be more effective? You need to probe at their perception of, of how you are performing. If they ask you why you're asking, then they're giving you an opening to really ask the question. And frame your question carefully, but ask if, you're worried about your, if they're worried about your performance. You may have to express the feeling that you feel you're being micromanaged. Whatever you do, just don't start there. It looks very defensive. Okay, number three, living with the feedback. Most important thing with feedback is to listen and be open to what you hear. A good manager will give clear feedback and a chance to fix any problems that you might have. A bad manager will not give you clear feedback and may even leave you more confused than you started. Either way, they're giving you feedback and you need to understand and act on it. Rarely it's that they're a jerk or you're misunderstood, but that course might be true. Mostly you are failing and you need to overcome their bad perceptions and prove yourself to them. You know, whether you get clear feedback or not, you have to live with the feedback and act on it. If you don't, then you only have yourself to blame.